and Herman had a rough week. I mean, I think he's. I, I think he may have peaked. And, and, and so here's a good question about racism. I think people have been reluctant to say Herman Cain is dumb and an idiot, like Sarah Palin. We said it about her, because they're afraid. People, oh, you're just saying it because because you're racist. I'm not racist. I think he's dumb. I think he's a really dumb because I think he didn't he didn't anticipate that if he was running for president, people would ask him questions mm. about stuff. And you've had some harsh words for for Herman Cain. I mean, this is not just me. You yeah. called him a clown and yes. he was a slave. And, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, it turns out you were He's very... totally ridiculous. He's I mean, ridic like, he, intellectually he ridiculous. He is ridiculous. But show the uh, clip of him talking about... Now, he, he got into... Uh, show the clip of the abortion. It's just, it's just too funny. So I'm confused on what your position is. My position, position is I'm pro-life, period. If a woman is raped... She should not be allowed to end the pregnancy? That's her choice. That is not government's choice. I support life from conception. So abortion should be legal? No, abortion should not be legal. I believe in the sanctity of their life. I'm not getting, I'm, I'm not understanding. I believe in her. If it's her choice, that means it's legal. No. I believe, I don't believe a woman should have an abortion. Does that help to clear it up? I love the way I love the way cops an attitude like, excuse me, is my completely contradictory position too hard for you to understand? I mean, it, it, but he's not a serious thinker. And if we, we shouldn't, I'm, I don't want to be afraid to say that because he's black and then might be racist. He's not a serious thinker, and you see that there. But the real problem is that he's hijacking the process for his brand to sell some books, to maybe get a job on Fox, to look bigger well, with his brand. And it shouldn't be right to do know. that. And we see that with Donald Trump. We see that with other people. I, I, it's not the first time this has happened. I know you but can't it is, look it into is, somebody's brand. And, uh, I mean, I think this guy legitimately wants to be president. But then why doesn't no, anybody staff I, in Iowa or New Hampshire? Because he's not that bright. He doesn't, he doesn't know he needs it. He's doing mean, out there on this the campaign guy, trail. I, I, spent, I spent Monday, Tuesday with him. He's out there selling his books. He's still giving paid speeches. He's making a ton of money. He's a national celebrity now. I mean, he set himself up beautifully. He doesn't look like a guy who was expecting to be a top-tier candidate, or he might have prepared for some of these some of these questions he's been hit with. He's out there making a career for him. I, I haven't really followed him closely, so this 999 thing. So I watched the debate the other night, and I thought, okay, now I'm going to get it explained to me, you know. And then the first time they threw this underhand pitch, I mean, just like, what is 999? And it's like, no answer. And then another one, and I realized, he can't explain it. Holy mackerel, this is his position. He can't explain it. He doesn't need to. It's 999. Right. He's, he's running for the Republican nomination. It rhymes with mine, mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's